Hey, what's up guys? Luke here, and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, thanks for tuning in. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Uh, today's gonna be a super exciting video because we are going to be installing uh, solar panels on top of the Dirtbox Overland Canopy Camper. So if you like this kind of content, like the video, share it, of course, subscribe, and stay tuned for seeing how I get this done. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're here in the garage. I have a little bit of a, a mock-up of how it's gonna look. I have two 100 watt Renogy solar panels, flexible solar panels that are gonna go on the roof. Um, as you can see, I have them in series uh, connected and basically gonna be flowing through here. Um, I do have a protective sheath uh, that's going over the top of this to protect it from the elements. I have the housing that's gonna be connected to the canopy camper and how it's gonna enter the camper. And then as you can see at the end of the wire, I don't have the MC4 connectors quite attached just because it's we're not quite there yet. But I did a little mock-up last night in preparation for today and hopefully the install goes smoothly. So now I want to show you really quickly the extra items that I have to help me with this install. All right, so some of the things that I have uh, that are going to help me with this project. First of all is extra MC4 connectors I got off of Amazon. I have M 3M tape. This is actually what I'm going to be using for mounting the solar panels to my uh, canopy camper. Uh, of course, again, with splicing wires, you're going to need the MC4 uh, connector crimp tool and a wire stripping tool. Um, another thing that I have is just miscellaneous, uh, like again, a sheath. Uh, to put over the tubing to help for protection, waterproofing, etc. Um, down here, I have a little bit more of that. And then I have uh, sort of a harder uh, protective covering. So I'll be putting that over this. So I kind of have a few different layers of defense. So again, just some of the things that I have that are going to help me with the project. I will definitely link everything in the bio below, just so you can see it. And... Uh, yeah, I've been excited. I've been planning this for a few days now, so let's just hop right in. All right, so first things first, I have some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna be pouring this on top of the canopy camper and basically cleaning the surface, making sure it's ready for anything adhesive so we can connect that solar panel to the top here. So let's do that. All right, I wanted to show you quickly, I've already placed the tape on the back side of the solar panels. Um, as you can see, I basically just lined the entire uh, thing, uh, solar panel with this 3M tape. I did leave a lot of spaces. Um, when I was doing a lot of my research, people said, if you're doing these flex panels, you don't want to completely seal it off just in case moisture does get in here. So. The way that I set this up is I put the tape going in this direction because the wind is going to be coming at it this way and I figured that was the best way to protect it. Um, I am going to be getting, doing some flex seal on this side of the solar panel just because that's going to be the most heavily hit. So I'm hoping that any wind uh, coming this way, it'll be protected from that direction. Um, of course, I'm not too worried about that coming from this side. So. Um, this is the way that I'm doing it. Let's just pray <laughs> that uh, this is good enough. Close enough construction. Let's go. Hey, here we are. Check this out. We have the solar panels and we're going to be placing them right here uh, very carefully. Hopefully. Okay, that's done. Hey, what's up guys? So the solar panels are on the roof. I've had it, the weight setting on top of it for about five hours or so. So I think the, the tape should be good. Um, I also added some flex seal to the front of it, which I forgot to record. Um, right now I am getting 
material is ready to do some hole sawing into the bed uh, of the canopy camper where I'm going to be feeding the wire into uh, the bottom of the canopy camper. But check this out. I think it looks pretty good. All right. All right. Hole saw worked and here we go. Got a nice little hole. That's where it's going to be coming up through. I have to clean all this shit up now. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Check this out. So, solar panels are looking good. I am sort of starting to figure out how I wanna channel these wires. Um, and actually this might work perfect. So I'm gonna have to try and clean this up, but a few things I'm working with is I have a lot of extra wire here. I might cut this down and splice it. But my, let's see if you can see in here. Um, you can't really tell, but here's the housing for where the MC or the the um, solar wires go in. I do have a little bit of a black sheath here that I'm gonna use some heat shrink on and tighten that all up. But pretty much, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of wire management and making sure this looks nice. So I might not show every step of this, but that's the plan. All right, so just a quick update. You can see I got the solar panels on. I have the flex seal sealing the front of the panels here. And I even have the protective outer covering for all the cables. I have a zip tied point here. And then you can kind of see it runs along the bottom of that. But that's what it looks like. Pretty sweet so far. All right, hey, what's up guys? So we're in the back of my truck and just wanted to do a quick little update. So. As you can see, well, I did just show you the front end is, is all good to go. But as you can see here, I kind of have it wired up. I have that protective casing over the wires. I have it zip tied and routed. And then basically I just have this uh, loose wire right now, which will eventually be something that's a little bit more cleaned up. Um, but as you can see, I have everything spliced out and running and connected into the anchor. So let's go around to the front and see how it's gone. So here we are, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell actually, but it's kind of cloudy, but I wanted to show you a quick little test on the solar. Again, this is a 200 watt system. Um, I have this in the back here. You can see the wires are plugged into the anchor. Right now we're pulling about 147 watts, 53. I mean, it's kind of continuing to grow, especially as the clouds are moving around a lot. There's the final product. So there we are. Two Renogy 200 watt solar panels. Um, we have it hooked up in the back here, routing through here to the anchor, which will inevitably be connected to my Iceco fridge. Um, and hey, at the end of the day, that's exactly what I wanted. This may turn into a more uh, in-depth power system at some point, but for right now, I wanted one connection going into the power bank and that, that was it. So if you did enjoy this project, which I hope you did, please like it, share it, and of course, subscribe. If you have any tips or comments or anything, please below, just leave that there. But again, we're doing projects here all the time on the truck, so stay tuned for those and we'll see you in the next one. All right, take care.